Hey there, what's up you guys? My name is Crazy Pie, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about six things that if you do in Fortnite Battle Royale, you are a 100% complete noob. All right, so make sure that you stick way far away from these six things, as if you do do these six things, you'll just be a complete nonsense to the game, and you'll you'll probably lose more games than you will win. So trust me when I say this. Try to stay far away from these six things. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free down below to leave a like as well as subscribe as we are trying to take off this channel again back into the new year. Trying to blow it up in 2018 with a ton of Fortnite. So yeah, subscribe for more Fortnite videos, you guys. Ugh, I can't even talk. But yeah, like I was trying to say, subscribe for more Fortnite videos, you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, so getting into the first thing that will make you a complete noob within Fortnite Battle Royale is when you do not build. I don't know how many times I'm playing with friends or I'm just playing with randoms and they're getting into gunfights and they don't even build. Like the most simplest object that you could build to get a good advantage is like a wall and a staircase behind it. So then you at least have a little bit of cover and you're off the ground so you don't have, you, you have like a little bit of an advantage, you know what I mean? But if you're playing like a complete noob or someone who's new to the game, they will not build. They'll just simply just, you know, stand there. They'll probably move side to side a little bit and you know that does kind of work but it's not really the best thing to do as you, the above gun advantage in Fortnite is definitely good. Think of it like this, say you're using a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher and you want to shoot down at someone, it is way easier to shoot down at someone than straight at someone because if you hit the ground the splash damage can easily kill them. Trust me when I say this guys, the above ground advantage is definitely what you want in Fortnite Battle Royale. Moving into number two on what will make you a noob in Fortnite Battle Royale is definitely when you always sprint. If you don't know, this game's audio is loud, all right? Just straight up, it is probably one of the loudest game audios I have ever heard. So, you know, if you're always sprinting around and you're always making a ruckus when you're playing this game, people are gonna know that, all right? Trust me, like, this audio is so loud in Fortnite, it's, it's, it's insanely brutal. Like, you can literally hear gunshots and sniper shots when they're coming from, like, all the way across the map. Like, you can hear where bullets are coming from, and if you're in house and someone's just stomping around outside of the house they can definitely hear which direction you're coming from so honestly don't sprint around guys it's just gonna kill you more than it's gonna help you all right trust me when i say this your footsteps in fortnite are super super loud so definitely try to not sprint so much as you know if you sprint your cover will more than likely be blown and you're probably gonna lose most gunfights because people are already gonna know where you're coming from and they're already gonna get a good position they're gonna build already on you so when you get in there they're gonna kill you. So it's definitely gonna be a rough go, so make sure that you do not sprint and try to walk. Obviously, don't take this the wrong way, so like don't start, like don't walk through like big fields, but if you're in like a big town and you see someone, don't sprint over to them. Simply try and walk over to them or crouch over to them. And the third thing that if you do this in Fortnite Battle Royale, you are definitely a complete noob, is giving off warning shots. I don't know how many times I used to do this when I first got into the game, and how many times I see randoms doing this. If it's with a suppressed pistol, it's still not fine, all right? Unless you're camping in a bush, don't do this all right literally even if you have a suppressed even if you have a suppressed pistol or a suppressed SMG do not do this unless you're camping in a bush or up above or wherever the enemy can't see you but what a warning shot is is pretty much if you're following someone and you want them to turn around to look at you you'll basically give a little bit of a shot so then they'll say hey there's a guy behind me now you might say oh that's a great idea because then you can get into a gunfight why this is a terrible idea is because if you if you're not playing so i mean it could be fine in solo if you have like a building already like you already have like a little structure to stand on but if you're playing in squads and there's only one guy you don't know where his teammates could be at so you know you could probably shoot at him but he could probably have like three guys running down the hill right behind you you know it, it's definitely a rough go if you do this poorly and it's it's very easy to do this poorly i feel like you should never even give a warning shot to be honest with you guys because it's just it's pretty pretty dumb in my opinion unless like i said you have a structure to stand on which is basically just an above ground advantage to stand on so you know, it's definitely gonna be a rough go so i would highly recommend staying away from giving warning shots just take caution with it but you know just like i said just don't do it guys unless you actually know that you have an advantage like it's a two-on-one but like I said it's it's definitely a rough go if you only see one guy and you're playing squads so stay away from that the fourth thing that will make you a complete noob within Fortnite Battle Royale is actually not having enough medical now this could either go two ways you know you could be a good player and you just happen to get unlucky in the game and not get any medical supplies or you could just be a complete noob and not pick up any of the medical supplies which if that's the case you deserve a complete slap on the wrist my friend because trust me if you see a mini shield lying around and you don't happen to pick it up even if i know there's only three but you don't have to take all three of them you can just take two of them which is the max amount that you can and then drop the third one i mean say you have zero medical supplies on you and you have five guns and one of them you don't even like but you just have for the sake of having it 
grenades. Do you really think that's a smart idea? Me personally, I would rather have three guns and then a ton of bandages as well as a med kit or maybe some shields. You know, even if you have a full shield, that doesn't mean that you still can't take two shield potions or at least one shield potion or mini shield potions with you. I mean, honestly, take as much medical as you possibly can because trust me, the more medical equals the better, all right? Because you don't know when you're gonna find an enemy. You don't know when you're gonna run into someone. You don't know how your gunfights are gonna go. And especially if you don't build a base, like I said, if you don't build a little structure to get the above gun advantage, you might get hit really, really badly because the enemy could definitely easily build an above gun advantage. And sometimes you might just get caught in the storm and that might suck. Also, you might hit a spike trap. Want to mention that as well. So definitely pick up shields so you don't die instantly from a spike trap. And just be courteous. Just be cautious, I should say. Don't be courteous, but be cautious, all right? Because you can definitely get hurt at any time and you always want to have medical so you're not going to lose the game. The fifth thing that will make you a complete noob within Fortnite Battle Royale is actually bush camping. Now this could go two ways. Now you could bush camp just to troll someone, which is still a pretty jerk thing to do. I would not recommend bush camping as you'll be frowned upon within the lobby. And you know, if you're one of those people that bush camps the whole game and then gets excited that you win, have, ugh, I don't know what you're thinking, but that is just an absolute shameful way to win this game. Like, let's be real here. I would never want to win my game and brag about it. Brag about winning at least if I bush camp the whole game. Like, let's be real here. Bush camping, ugh, it's so bad. The sixth tip will get into bush camping as well, but it's... Don't bush camp, literally, that's basically just like camping in a corner in other games like Call of Duty and stuff. It's just such a jerk thing to do and it's just such a, just just don't bush camp, man. Like, uh, it's it's not nice and it's just, you're ruining the game for other people. I mean, I get it, you want to win, but it's just, just don't do it, alright? Just don't do it. Moving into the final tip, the sixth tip that will, or not really a tip, but the sixth thing that will make you a complete noob if you do not do this, or if you do do this in Fortnite Battle Royale, and it's a little bit more serious and the, probably the most important one on the list, is playing the game without audio. Now, if you don't know, Fortnite has some of the loudest audio in any video game I, out there. Like, you can hear footsteps very well, you can hear bullet shots anywhere. Like, say they're over a mountain, say they're just miles away, you can still hear the bullet shots, all right? You can hear where they're coming from, what gun it might be, like if it's a sniper, a grenade launcher, a rocket launcher, a SCAR, an AR, etc. You know, you can hear what it is that they're firing and where it's coming from, as well as you can hear footsteps. Now, you know, if you do want a bush camp, which I, I wouldn't recommend doing, like I said, but you know, if you are, ha if you do happen to be one of those kids that do bush camp and you don't use audio, you're probably the dumbest bush camper I have ever heard of because trust me right now, you need audio to hear footsteps, all right? Like, ugh. I can't stand those people that are like, well, if I, if I listen to game audio, then I can't hear your voice when it, you're talking. Like, honestly, Yes, you can, personally, you, you literally can, so I don't know what you're saying, but if I were you, I'd rather hear game audio than hear my team talking. Like, it's just so much better because sometimes you get split off from your team and sometimes, you know, you might have to fight gunfights on your own, so definitely just listen to game audio because even if you down someone, you can hear their teammate running after them. Like, game audio is one of the most crucial things within Fortnite Battle Royale and you always want to be courteous, always want to have hearing it, and you just, just trust me, game audio in any game, even in any single video game where it's like a competitive shooter, you're trying to win in Fortnite. There's literally no other objective in this game other to win and to have fun and to have fun you gotta win so you know well okay, that's 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 a lie that second part this game is just fun no matter what but you're gonna want to win games because that's like the main objective like who does not want to win a fortnite game like if you don't want to win a fortnite game i don't know what's wrong with you because it's literally one of the funnest things ever but seriously, if you want to boost your chances in winning a Fortnite Battle Royale game, listen to some audio, like come on, you need to hear the game audio in order to play this game like to the full potential and to be at your best. So especially if you're playing a competitive game, always listen to game audio guys. Trust me when I say this, game audio is crucial, alright? But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to definitely upload a ton more Fortnite videos and I'm trying to revive Crazy Pie and bring him back and hopefully blow him up within 2017, or 2018, my goodness, that was the 2017. But uh... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more Fortnite videos coming soon. I have another one coming within two days. I want to start to get into some live commentaries for this game as well, because honestly, Fortnite has probably taken over to be like my very like my favorite video game within 2017, 2018 so far. This is my very favorite video game, as well as at the end of 2017 this is my favorite video game. So I definitely want to upload some more Fortnite videos, as I just love this game so much. And uh, hopefully you guys can come along for the journey. But yeah, leave a like if you do this video, and uh, hopefully you guys can fix this. Comment down below. I want to see what you guys do if you guys do any of these things, because I definitely do fall into the category of doing some of these things, like warning shots. I mean, I'm not, no one's perfect, so obviously you know if you do put some of these things, don't worry, you're not gonna get crucified down in the comment section below. It's just gonna be a fun time but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys soon peace guys